te hopu tuna te tuku tuna rānei. Koe rā te pātai e hia hia ana te tahi rōpū tiaki tuna kia ā te whakaaro hiake e te marea whānui o Aotearoa. Kei te haria he rārangi ingoa a te te i te hopu tuna ki te whare pāremata i te nei wiki. Ko te tūmanako kia rā huitia te haonga o te kū wharuwharu, he momo tuna tērā. I haere tā tātou manu rerehua, a Carmen Parahi ki te wairarapa, he hapuri hopu tuna tērā, ki te rapu ake i o rātou whakaaro. It's part of our whakapapa, the tuna. We don't want to trade them into extinction. If we continue to commercially yield, that would affect our customer take. Ko ia te tangata tuna o te wairarapa. I ngā tau o mua ki ko nei a Matt Paku e mau here ana i ngā tuna mo te hoko. Kei wāinga i te toru me te whāmano ki rō karamu tuna ka tangohia i a wiki. A lot of people looked at them and I mean, oh, bloody slimy old eels, who the hell wants to catch that? So, to me, I looked at the, the, the crown in those days as that they really didn't give a rat's bum about how we caught the eels. As long as we got the export tonnage up and the, and the money was coming, that was as good as gold. He pērā ngā tūna ki te hauhake koura i te tīmatanga. Engari, he toru te kautau ki muri, ka pau haere ngā tūna. I started up a uh, smoked eel business, which boomed. But I couldn't get the quality of eels in the wire apple or in the North Island, actually. That really enlightened us that, hey, uh, there's something wrong here. We've taken all our big tuna. Ko tēnei tuna, tētahi o ngā momo tuna nui o te ao. E kia nei ko te kū wharuwharu i te waira rapa. Hey, it was good money in catching tuna. And my people were against it, me doing it. Do you feel guilty about that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Kei te pupuri tonu i a Matt, ngā hea mo te hopu tsuna, engari hei tāna kaore ia i te whakamahi i aua hea. I had to survive, but now if it was to happen again and knowing what I know, I would not go there. You absolutely believe that the long fin tuna is in danger? Yes, in I danger. do, I do. A, inai nei, kua huri tēnei kai hi tuna, hei kai tiaki tuna. I put them in here and feed them and look after them and um, they don't get eaten. They're just here for my mokopuna and, and people to see. And here she is here. Kei a Matt tētahi mō kai ku wharuwharu e ono te kautau pea tana pakeke. Ko motu wairaka tana ingoa, te ingoa hoki o tōna marae. I suppose in days gone by, we have eaten them, but now because of the rarity of them and the overfishing of them and really uh, no management around the, the fishing of them and they're so easy to catch in the rivers, is that they're disappearing. Kei ngā miri o nga tau ngā ku wharuwharu e noho kāinga ana ki Aotearoa. Ka tupu ake i te tahi rau tau me te rima mita te roa. Very few and far between. He rere kē te rahi, te kiri kū whewhe me te tata o te pakihau ki te upoko o te kū wharuwharu ki tērā o te tuna heke. Ko ngā tuna katoa i hinaki ana ki raro i tētahi pūnaha hea e whakahaere tia ana e te mana tū ahu matua. Ahakoa kei tētahi rārangi whakatū pato ngā kū wharuwharu. They taste basically the same, but we prefer to to eat the, um, the one that they're, they're more abundant than the other ones and, you know, they're not at risk. He pō tūri te tūpuranga o ngā ku wharuwharu, ka heke mai ngā awa o uta, ki tai ki te whakawhānau he kōtahi wā o tāna oranga katoa. Kei e nei whakāhua motuhake e whakātū ana i ngā pēpi ku wharuwharu e hoki ana ki uta o te waira rapa, mai te moana. My people here, um, We've eaten elva. We eat elva like we eat white paint. We've stopped doing that simply because we now recognise where we are with the eels. Kite afina e nei fakaro i te oranga o ngā ku farufaru huri noa i te rohe. I ngā rā o mua ki ana te awa o rua mahanga i ngā ku farufaru mo te hoko. I nā nei he paruparu kē.
Ki ko nei mātou ko ngā māngai mō ngā iwi e rua o te wairarapa, a rā a ngātika ngunu ki wairarapa me rangitāne o wairarapa e tūtaki ana. Kei rāha ki ngā take tō rangapū, ki a kotahi te whakāro mō te oranga o ngā kū wharuwharu. Ki a rāhui a i te rohe whānui o te wairarapa me e tahi wāhi o manawa tū i te hinakitanga o ngā kū wharuwharu. We know that we can make an application to the Ministry of Primary Industries to regulate or um, regulate the, the, the commercial take in a, in a particular area. The reason why we want to uh, ban at the moment is so that we can replenish our stocks of longfin tuna. Kei te marama ngā iwi e rua he take tauto he tēnei. Nā te mea, ko te Māori ngā kaipupuri hea nui o te ika a Māui, to be fair, we're very unhappy about that quota system. I think if you took a close look at uh, fish quotas in and around Wairarapa and the return that comes to Wairarapa, they don't match up. Kua au kati ngā iwi e rua nei i ngā kaihina ki tuna e whakamahi ana i ngā raihana Māori ki tō rātou rohe. Our people did trade and we did trade um, eel, so there's a time when we want to trade eel, but we don't want to trade them into extinction. He rua te kau o rau o ngā tūna kua hinaki mo te hoko, kei te Māori mo te hauhake tuku iho. Kei te hea hea rātau, kia tau toko o rātau uri, mā te hinaki no iho i te tūna heke me te whakaiti i te maha ka tangohea. We really want to protect, we really want to uh, also ensure that they can flourish in those situations rather than uh, just living in, on life support. Ko Joseph Paul Tangaroa e whakarite ana i āna hinaki, engari te kai i tāna i hopu ai. What are their names, Cameron? Uh, Pepe, Pangoa and Eti. <laughs> he taonga ngā ku wharuwharu, nā whai anō kua tuhituhi puka puka ia. Their life cycle is fascinating. They spend most of their lives in the inland waterways, uh, and then at the beginning and the end, they, uh, they go out to sea. Mai mai. Oh, she's come to see us already. Ki te tau toko a Joseph i tētahi pitihana ki te pārimata, ki a rāhui ai ngā ku wharuwharu e hopu ana mō te hoko. Do you believe they are endangered? I, I think the moratorium's a good idea. Yeah. Until we really know, we just risk, uh, yeah, risk extinction. Kaore a Matt Paku e whakapono ana, nā ngā kaihi tuna te raru nui o te heketanga o ngā kuwharuwharu. Hei tāna kei te pai hoki ngā mahi a ngā kaihi tuna ki te tiaki tuna. Kei te mahi tahi rātau ki a tika ngā ture. The management around the commercial oil fisheries really needs to be tightened up. Kei te whakai ia, me rāhu i te hi kuwharuwharu. The effects of commercial fishing across the world is that a lot of these countries have less than 5% of their wild stock in their waters now. They have actually put a total ban on it. Hey, tā, Matt, ko te ahu moana te oranga mo a pōpō. They actually just catch the alba as it's coming back in from the breeding stock, it comes in every year, and millions of them, they are allowed to take a certain amount of them and put them into their farms. Ka upoko pakuru tonu a Matt Paku ki te tiaki i a motu wairaka, tai atu ki te wā ki a wehe ai ia ki te moana. We want to look after these fellas. We've enjoyed their company and they've been a good food source to us, but they've just been thrashed, basically. The commercial sector, we've just taken too much of it. I whakapā tū mātou ki te minita i ngā take ahu mahi matua ki a Nathan Guy mo āna whakautu kāri ia i wātea mai. I tono hoki mātou i ngā māngai o te manatū ahu mahi ki a noho ki tā mātou pai kōrero i te ata nei kāri hoki rātou i wātea mai. Engari i tukuna mai tēnei whakatau. E aro nui ana te manatū ki te oranga tonu tanga o ngā momo tuna katoa, a kai te ata wānanga hia ngā kōrero hou, whai take hoki ka tai mai ki a mātou.
E ai ki wā mātou rarounga, i piki ke te maha o ngā kū faru faru i roto i te wairarapa i te taurua mano mā fitu. A he rarounga hō kāputa i ngā kaipū taiao hei te mahuru o tēnei tau.